Hey, everybody. Um, I wanted to talk to you for just a minute uh, how we're going to start this week off. I know it's the week before spring break, and there's so many things going on. Um, but I do want to talk to you about some a unit that we're going to be starting. I hope you guys um, finished your Tuskegee Airmen or your Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiment. And you realize that um, sometimes leadership uh, doesn't do the things that they need to do to protect um Patients, whether it be um, governmental or healthcare wise or direct uh, people providing the direct care. Um, I always like to do the Tuskegee experiment um, unit because what it does is it lets you see some things that happened in healthcare in the past that not only were very, um, very wrong, but also that you can see how that experiment itself. It literally changed healthcare. Yes, it was very wrong. And yes, we did repeat it in Guatemala in the 60s and 70s. Um, but it also incited some really good things in healthcare, like um, there were no healthcare eth ethics laws related to healthcare before 1947. Um, it changed the way research was done on human, uh, human research was done for uh, medical purposes. Um, it made full disclosure one of the things that we have to do when we um, when we treat a patient. We have to explain what we're doing to them and what the benefits and what the risks are. So those are some of the things that that this experiment really helped change. Um, also made us look really hard at how healthcare is um, how how it's governed and um, making sure that there was more. Um, more ways to do checks on that. Um, and even with that being done, we still have health safety issues. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in this, this next portion um, going through spring break is we're going to be looking at um, some issues with safety and health care, some current issues with safety and health care. So what you're going to do today is you're going to read an article and I want you to write me just a short one, one page um, or at least three paragraphs, um, but preferably three to five paragraphs on um, this particular article. I want you to read the article, and I want you to write me a reflection. I want you to kind of summarize that article for me, but then tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about the fact that we're still having issues with sterilization and surgery and things like that. So read this article, reference this article in your reflection, and then post the article, your reflection to the classroom page. So do it on a Google Doc and then um, turn it in on this assignment. I'm going to be looking at that and giving you a grade. I'll be great in that, okay? So you guys, um, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will be back with you later. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.